Please no again no Eldar. Please no Eldar. Do me the favor. No Okay, orcs, fine with that. Okay. So the orcs try to go through and I have to defend. I'm fine with that. For the defense we take again. Now we take our big boy. Another pulsar. And uh, one of them. Okay, okay, okay. These are only three ships. Hmm, maybe not the best shots. Anyway, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Oh, okay. No, it looks better. Oh, okay. There is a chance that it will not do damage. Hmm, okay. Was that... Was it... The same on tabletop? Do you know that, guys? Because, like I say, I never played the tabletop. All I know from the tabletop was that... Eldor weaponry was, like, very, very devastating. Bye bye, Mr. Orc. Yes, Commander, we obey. What the? The Eldar stand ready. Bone singers, heal this vessel. Moving to that location. I hate this. This town is like this. That's the worst for the Eldars. Being taunted is truly like hell on earth for them. Move at full speed. 
Yes, come on. Move at full speed. Yeah, um, about Eldars and Necrons. I had a few, I don't know, I, I think it's like two or three weeks ago, very interesting discussion with someone who just like blamed Eldar. Uh, and I really, I really dislike that when, when people do stuff and they like have no clue what they're talking about. They are like trying to bring uh, the lore of 40k closer to someone who is new to it and then like telling not entirely bullshit but like only knowing the half of the truth and when you just tell them that they are wrong and they tell you yeah but you know what i have read like 400 sides of it and then you tell them you know what 400 sides reading 400 sides about 40k is like reading nothing like honestly nothing because you have to start from the scratch and let's say you don't start even with the first edition let's say you start with the second edition Already most of the codexes from the first edition, uh, from the second edition, had were somewhere around a hundred sides, which doesn't mean that you need to read all the hundred sides. I mean, we know that most of the sites were, like, uh, some sites were only, uh, you have the unit, point, cost, stuff like that, and, and, and uh, some illustrations, pictures, stuff like that. Nothing important. So let's say of hundred sites that you have per, per codex, you had, like, let's say 40 or 50 sides background so already there we have 50 sides so t coming to me and telling me yeah but i know everything because i have read 400 sites it's like you have read nothing and then telling me that eldar uh like like the falcon this was the discussion like the falcon would be a shitty vehicle telling me that the eldar vehicles or the, the, the Falcon is shitty, tells me already that you have no clue because our today military would kill for it when they would could have a, a vehicle like the, um, like the Falcon because it can do whatever you like. It can drop out of uh, sky. It, you, you don't need a ship, um, hovercraft or whatsoever because that thing can fly with a speed of, I think it was 800 kilometers per hour, which is, uh, what is it, in miles? I think it's 400 miles or something like that, or maybe even a bit more, a bit less, not sure about that. Um, and also, Eldar 
the material which they're made of uh, in second edition was known as right now it's wraith bone previously it was uh, phantom crystal that thing it weighs less it is harder than adamantium more flexible uh, f uh, flexible than than uh, plastic t-style so to, to get the same results in protection you need far less material which makes the vehicle uh, not only lighter but also more fuel efficient and beside that that thing has no wheels or, or uh, it doesn't touch the ground as a hovercraft or not hovercraft it's it's uh, anti-grav so no resistance in moving super efficient 